we continue looking at relations, functions, and graphs, and specifically at composite functions. In a previous video, we looked at two general functions, and we made a composite function. Well, we made two composite functions from them. Let's look at a more specific example now. Let me erase these. Now, let us say that we have two functions f of x is equal to 4x minus 5 and we have another function g of x is equal to 3x plus 7 let us find f g of x f g of x now f g of x in this case is going to be a combination of f of x and g of x now we write down f of x which is 4x minus 5 let me leave some space between them now this would be f of x but we're not finding f of x what we find we're finding is f g of x so this x must be changed to g of x so it is 4 multiplied by g of x but the question now is what is g of x let's be more specific what exactly is g of x This is it. So instead of having this, let's go in a bit more detail and have our 3x plus 7. So what we did was put g into f. Now, let's do our calculation f g of x is equal to 4 multiplied by 3x plus 7 4 multiplied by 3 x is going to be 4 3 is 12 x plus 4 multiplied by 7 is 28 minus 5 so that gives us 12 x plus 28 minus 5 28 minus 5 is 23. So we have 12x plus 23. That is our composite function, fg of x. Let us separate the page. And I want to determine what is g f of x what I want you to do at this point is to pause the video and calculate g f of x for me so do that now okay you have done that now g f of x is going to be first of all what we have here is g of something it is g of f of x 
Now, our g of x was 3 x plus 7. However, this is not g of x. It is g of f of x. g f of x. So, what we have here is 3 x is going to become 3 times f of x. But let's go into more detail. What is f of x? What exactly is f of x? It is 4x minus 5. So, why don't you write that down? 3 multiplied by 4x minus 5. So, what we have is going to be 3 times 4 gives you 12x minus 3, 5, 15 plus 7. And that is 12x negative 15 plus 7 is going to be negative 8. So, therefore, g f of x is 12x minus 8. I hope that's what you got when you worked it out. Alright? So, this was an example, a specific example of calculating two composite functions.